In this step, we're going to take a look at how to use uh, what most people call our hot rods. Um, and we're going to take a look at how to play them on the drums. First, hot rods are, if we start at the butt, just looks kind of normal. But if you take a look at the actual stick, they're made up of these little nylon wires, okay? Let me try to fan them out a little bit. It's kind of a hybrid between a brush and a stick. Um, and it's just made up and it just shoved down into this rubber sleeve. Um, you can also get ones which are wood. Uh, I don't like them as much um, just because they can get kind of loud and they also break. So these, I've had these for several years and these do not break. Now, these are one pair of hot rods and you can see that um, I kind of have a theory here be between these two. As you can tell, this one at the top is a little more fanned out. And typically, I use that one for the snare drum or my left hand. And as you can see, this one is a little more put together and it's real tight. I got a tape up at the top where you can see this tape is down kind of a little bit so it allows it to fan more. This tape is at the top and then I have this rubber band uh, that holds it together and then tape in the middle so it doesn't uh, come out that way. I typically use this one for a hi-hat or ride cymbal situation uh, such as this. <laughs> Now, the thing with the hot rods, some benefits uh, to, to using the hot rods is softness. Um, but they're not quite as soft as brushes, but you can still use them in an acoustic setting where you need to be soft and you can't overplay an acoustic guitar player or um, you know, a keyboard player that's playing light. So you can still use it, but you can also get a little bit loud with them. Not quite as loud as drumsticks, but you can use this in a more of like a club setting where it is a little bit louder and there is more acoustic guitars, but it's just a change of sound. Now, as you can see on the actual drums, um, and now there's, there's an example of why this one's tight. See, this one's softer uh, and more of like a fatter sound, a little bit uh, quieter as well. And this one's tight, loud, and to the point. Okay. Um, so what it does, you can play soft and you can play loud. But it also, if you can hear when I'm doing that, you can also hear the, the kind of the little nylon stuff, the nylon little pieces, you can kind of hear them hitting together. So not only are you getting the drum sound and, and a fatter drum sound at that as opposed to using regular drumsticks, but you kind of get like an added little little tick. I don't know if you can hear it or not. Let's try to let's try to do it again. So those uh, are some benefits, uh, some advantages and disadvantages to using them on your actual drums kind of you can still kind of play loud and rock out but you can also pull it back and it also gives you a little bit uh, of a flavor uh, maybe one disadvantage could be the fact that um, it doesn't get maybe as loud as you need it to sometimes and when you're playing in a club we're talking about that click sound you're not going to hear that as much um, in the club however in the studio What's cool about them is you can, since you can bump it up and there's you know no uh, in the mix or whatever, you can hear the effects of using these a lot in the studio. In fact, um, there's a lot of songs that we record where I use these as opposed to regular drumsticks because it gives me a different drum sound, uh, but you can't tell I'm using them. Uh, it just sounds like a different type of drum sound. Uh, because we can bump it up in the mix. So could be a problem if you need to play loud in a concert type setting, but really cool to use in a, uh, in a studio setting and even a club setting too. So those are some advantages and disadvantages to using the hot rods on the drums.